Do you know the way to San Jose? Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you know the way to San Jose? Hey, good morning. All right, y'all, listen, honey. It's another beautiful morning, and I'm so happy to see y'all. Yes, I really am. Believe it or not, I'm really happy to see y'all. Yes, but anywho, listen, I was just um, talking about a subject on the air, and I think, you know, it was very informative, and I think more men should agree with me. But I've been saying this for years here at the show. More men need to sit down to pee than stand up. Because, you know, they say men in Germany, like 60% or 80% of men in Germany, they sit down to urinate with these ignorant American men. Y'all stand up to pee. I think more men should sit down because, first of all, it's better for your bladder. I mean, you, you know, you less bladder infection. All that. I mean, I've been sitting down to pee for years, forever, because I don't believe in standing up to urinate. I just think it's ridiculous standing up, urinating at some damn kind of um, trough like thing, honey. You know, they got these places at these um, convention places. I mean, you know, these concert halls where it's like a trot, girl. When I went in that restroom, I said, oh, my damn bladder would bust before I sit there, honey, and stand up there and pee in front of all them damn men, honey, like, uh, like a bunch of cattle. But anyway, I, I mean, come on, y'all agree with me. Men should be able to sit down to urinate. I think it's a great, and I was just talking to some of my coworkers, and they're women. They said they would love to stand up to pee. They said because you know it's you know it's tiresome. They don't like doing it, and they say men could just pull off on the side of the road and pee and do what they got to do. But a woman got to have squat and hope and pray that a bug don't run up in her or something like that. So I mean, I think this is a very interesting, informative, you know, situation. Don't y'all think? So I mean, if you agree, honey, just let me know. That, you know, just tap in right there and let me know that, you know, men should sit down and pee. Yes, Lord. So, oh, my God. J.G. Jr., don't you agree? Men should sit down to pee. I don't think men should be standing up. I mean, like they say, this is why women live longer. Because men's bladders get all jacked up. They get kidney stones. They get all these different... Um, infections and stuff honey but women because they sit down they have healthier blood so i think more men and because i've been doing it for years and i don't believe in standing up to pee honey anybody got no damn time to be standing up in no damn restroom peeing honey you sit down and you relax and relate and release and i think that's my opinion so if you got something to say if anybody got something to think about it say about it well hey you know just the one let me see you disagree, James. Why in the hell would you disagree? You would disagree, but that's the whole thing. So that's what's wrong with these macho men. Y'all gonna disagree, but it's healthier. The survey, the statistics just showed you. I just told y'all. Statistics, honey, 80% of German men sit down to pee with all these damn crazy Americans standing up. And this is why y'all bladders person, y'all getting infection, honey. You're getting all this other stuff that come along with it. So, but everybody have a right to their opinion. But I refuse to be standing up at some damn urinal peeing. That's just me. I'm not doing it. So unless I just really, really have to, really, really have to, and for the most part, I really don't have to. So I'm not going to do it. So, But anyway, congratulations to all y'all that's st standing up, honey, peeing, honey, at these damn troughs and stuff. It, it's just ridiculous. Cindy, you're a nurse. What you think? But anyway... Also, let me tell you something. I've been saying this here for years. Years. And that's why we talked about it. Dancing with the Stars. Did anybody watch Dancing with the Stars, honey? Y'all watch it? Well, anyway, on Dancing with the Stars, that, um, what's her name? Cheryl Burke, honey. I knew something was going on with Cheryl Burke because they was putting up with all these damn black men. And I know damn well a black man's um, crypt tonight is a white woman. And honey, now it's, she's confessing that she didn't slept with some of these damn men. The only one she named was um, Ocho Cinco. And she said he bought her a, a, an enormous diamond ring. But this is the same bastard that's talking about black women shouldn't um, spend, they spend too much money. How he don't spend, how he save all his damn money and shit. He save all his money when it comes to a black woman. But honey, with that white woman, honey, he didn't really honey, empty the damn bank. Typical Negro. But anyway, child, um, she ain't talking about, she ain't telling the other ones that she slept with. But I know when I saw her dancing with Emmett Smith, I kind of, like, mm, 
And not saying that she slept with Emmett Smith, but Emmett and Pat divorced too, though. And, honey, um, it was another one. Um, uh, Rick Fox, honey, him and Vanessa divorced, honey. It's, you know, when you know what you know, I mean, because to me, you could just look at things. You got to be dumb to not observe and look at things and say, oh, this don't look right, honey. And they put up with all these damn black men, honey. It just didn't seem right to me. But even though she danced with a few white ones, but, honey, she was the queen of black men. So, honey, I knew it. Good morning, love. Good morning. I'm finding yourself. But, um, but I knew it. I, I knew. I knew it, and I said it. That that's just not a good look, honey. Cause you know, like she said, you gotta be very intimate when you dancing, honey, with these parties. And honey, she, she dancing. She's a single white woman dancing with these black men, honey. Uh, 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 uh. But nevertheless, she said, you know, that that's what it was, and we already knew that's what it was. She called it showmancy. You were damn showmancing all down, right? You were showmancing, honey, sleeping with these damn men, and they as it was showing up, even honey, they cocking their legs all up on top of her and stuff like that, honey. Baby, please. She probably put on some extra sweet perfume, honey, just because she knew the night I was dancing with this big black buck. Mm, yeah. But anyway, that's just, who am I? Who am I? I'm just me, and I... I, I I'm just nobody, but I do know this much. I knew it was some shit going on. I knew it. And that's one thing, honey. You know, everybody's talking this year, honey. Ain't nobody keeping shit to themselves. Ain't nobody going to the grave with nothing. Everybody putting it out there. The only person who went to the grave with some stuff was OJ. He kept all that to himself, honey. Whatever he did, he went to the grave with it. But, honey, not everybody talking. So everybody want the world to know what they done done. So we're glad Cheryl Brooke is finally confessing and letting us know that she did have showmances with some of these guys, honey. But it's going to come out the one she had it with, though. But nevertheless, we just got to keep our parties lifted up in our prayer. And again, y'all, as I said earlier, please, we, the world, we did the survey, at least I did the study, or should I say I read the study, that men need to sit down on the toilet to pee. They said 80% of German men, y'all can pull it up, said that they sit on the toilet to pee as opposed to 20% of American men standing up to pee. It's stressful standing up to pee. I would never stand up to pee. I will always and continue to sit down to pee. I'm not going to stand up to pee. And you sit down, you pee, and you wipe, and you get up, and you go on about your business. But men don't want to do that. But the survey said we need to do it because that prevents less uh, bladder infection, less bladder stone, kidney stones, all of that. So I wish that people would listen and follow the rules because, honey, you need to listen to what these uh, studies are showing because we need men, in particular African-American men, to live longer, y'all. So in order to live longer, you African-American men, y'all need to follow the rules. So like I said with the survey, say, sit down to pee. Stop standing up peeing and all peeing at them damn trots and shit. Honey, sit yourself down, pee. You save your bladder. You save bladder infection. You save kidney stuff. You save all these things. So, But anyway, that's just my opinion. Okay? I want y'all to have a great... Oh, and quickly, uh, Shantae announced y'all that she's pregnant. We knew that shit. But I guess it's official now. So she's definitely pregnant for little Snelly. So they're going to be having a baby. So congratulations to them. I want y'all to have a great day and a better tomorrow. And if you're in the Jackson, Mississippi area, come on down and join me. Host with the lovely Tamara Cherie. Host the different, I mean not the different, the beautiful Rock the Runway. Now we're going to be rocking the runway tomorrow night in Jackson, Mississippi. Okay, y'all get y'all tickets on. Tamara Cherie is from the um, um, reality show Bell Collective. So y'all come on down and join us. We're going to have a marvelous time. This is like our 10th year hosting this. 10 years, y'all. We've been doing this for 10 years. It is an amazing show. You, you know, there's a lot of um, local um, um, talent, and there's going to be national talent as well. These people are directors. These people are um, designers. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a ball. I mean, it's going to be a treat, honey. Just come on down and get your ticket. Go to Eventbrite if y'all want to come down Jackson, Mississippi. Just buy up the street, y'all. Okay. All right. What's Cindy say, honey? Cindy, hi, Cindy. Cindy, I want you to have an awesome day too, dear. The color of the day was Forenza. That's red on the um, low end, Forenza on the high end. So, oh, Cindy, I think you're a Delta too. That's your color, huh? But anywho, 
Oh, I want y'all to have a beautiful day, y'all. And we'll do this again, honey, tomorrow, honey. Let me go um back in the studio to have one more segment. So y'all tune in, honey. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Or tonight, honey, check your local listings for Dish Nation on Fox. Bye. Men, sit down and peace. Stop standing up. That's all I got to say.